Will Justin Bieber recover from his facial paralysis? Is his face going to get better? Guys, we know he has Ramsey Hunt syndrome. This is basically almost like shingles of the face. Um, I talked about this a little bit in my last video about uh, Justin Bieber and Ramsey Hunt syndrome. I'll make sure I put that in the comments, so make sure you check that out. Uh, the long and the short of it is, is it's shingles, uh, which is a reactivation of the chickenpox virus, the virus that causes chickenpox. It's shingles, a reactivation of that, but specifically along the face nerve on one side of the face uh, as it sort of approaches the ear okay and when that happens one can get many of the symptoms that Justin Bieber has had it's also called Ramsey Hunt syndrome one can have a hearing loss they can actually have some dizziness they can have facial paralysis which is what he has they can have a rash sort of along this area there are other symptoms um, by the way buzzing in the ear tinnitus or sort of ringing in the ear dry mouth and eyes that actually is something that can happen as well um, so we know that Justin Justin Bieber has been suffering with this. He had to cancel a number of tour dates, which is unfortunate. Um, and it looks like he canceled a, a tour date sort of uh, staggered. He canceled some and then he canceled some others. His wife, Haley Bieber, has been on talk shows and different places talking about um, her latest projects, but also saying that he is, you know, um, you know, doing okay, which is great. Um, we're going to talk today about what the prognosis of Justin Bieber is. Is he likely to recover? Okay. Um, one thing I should tell you though, is on his Instagram, he recently posted, and I'm not going to read the whole post, but he does say, and I quote, each day has gotten better. Um, he goes on to, to talk about his faith, et cetera. And he closes with saying that Jesus is with me. Um, that particular post didn't have a photo or a video or anything with it. It was just a static post. Um, so, you know, the question is, I wonder how he is doing. I am Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator if you guys don't know who I am. Uh, so I see patients, uh, you know, most days of the week. And, uh, you know, the question is, how is he doing and what's the likelihood of him recovering? Okay, so this is the thing, guys. Uh, Ramsey Hunt, first of all, is not a common uh, condition. It's also called herpes zoster oticus. Um, it's a specific type of herpes zoster or shingles. Okay. Um, I also want to remind you guys that there are vaccines against chickenpox. Uh, and once again, if this seems a little bit confusing, just check out my other video uh, about what um, herpes zoster oticus or Ramsey Hunt is. But there's vaccines against the chickenpox uh, virus. There's vaccines against the shingles virus for people of certain ages. So that is really important to keep in mind. It's also something else that really underscores the importance of vaccines in general is because we have a lot of vaccine preventable conditions, etc. Um, and, uh, you know, shingles and um, chickenpox vaccines lowers the risk of getting those. Um, without knowing what where he is, obviously we're just sort of speculating. Okay. So let me talk about what we know to be a typical course of uh, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Uh, first of all, um, you generally want to start treatment as soon as possible when somebody has something like Ramsey Hunt syndrome. I told you it was rare, but medication treatments are going to be so crucial and it's something that needs to be picked up, meaning the condition Ramsey Hunt needs to be diagnosed or suspected as soon as possible and then treatment started as soon as possible. You might be saying, okay, well, what are these treatments that could be used? Um, things like steroids, okay, corticosteroids, which lower inflammation and do other things. Uh, also, there's antiviral medications. Uh, antivirals because um, uh, Ramsey Hunt syndrome, just like shingles, is caused by a virus, okay? A reactivation of a virus that can live inside us once we have had chicken pox. Again, check out the other video. So uh, starting antivirals, um, uh, uh, steroids, etc., uh, is very important to start as soon as possible, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a few prognoses based on a, a few different sources because I think it's it's important to have kind of a little bit of a range, okay? Um, many sources say that generally there's a good prognosis, but let me go into a little bit more detail, okay? Um, when we think about prognosis, a lot of it has to do with how much damage there is or how much damage we might suspect. Um, many sources say that if there's not much damage to the nerve, that is the facial nerve, right? Because remember, he's got damage to this facial nerve because of this virus, and that's what's causing his facial paralysis, the paralysis on one side of the face. The question is, will that get better? And a lot of that will have to do with how much that nerve that deals with facial paralysis, how much that nerve is damaged in the first place, okay? If there's not much damage um, to the nerve, you know, the prognosis is thought to be very likely to be better, okay? Uh, remember that there are many people who have Ramsey-Hunt syndrome that will get better all by themselves, and they won't have any what we call sequ 
sequela or residual weakness on one side of their face or anything like that. Um, however, if damage is more severe to the facial nerve, well, you know, it's possible that some people may not actually fully recover even after several months. Um, and this is where I, I, you know, one size fits all really it does not apply here because the truth of the matter is it's kind of like when we think about strokes and stuff like that you know with strokes in medicine it's often the wild wild west we we don't we can't predict who's going to get better how fast what's going to come back etc and that can be the scary thing about it okay um generally sources feel that you know if medications etc are started within three days of of um and this is mount sinai by the way i believe this is mount sinai medicine um they say that if um treatment that's the steroids we talked about the antivirals are started within three days of after symptoms begin um then um many of those people who have treatment started very very soon can actually make a complete recovery, okay? Um, if the treatment is delayed after three days, Mount Sinai says that there's less of a chance of complete recovery. We are talking about recovery from the symptoms that we're discussing, facial paralysis, et cetera. Now, emedicine.com, I wanted to give another source, says in general, the prognosis is good for resolution of symptoms. That's a good thing. However, fewer than 50% of patients have complete recovery of facial function. And that statistic, honestly, is maybe not, not the, not the best, right? Okay, so it's saying that fewer than 50% of patients have complete recovery of facial function. That's emedicine.com. And then we have the American Academy of Ophthalmology. They say the degree of facial paralysis can be predicted by the severity of the initial paralysis. Okay, studies say the resolution can range anywhere from 10 to 22% to 66%, which is kind of in line with the statistic I gave before that emedicine said that fewer than 50% of patients have complete recovery of facial function. Look, this is the thing. Statistics at the bottom of the end of the day are statistics, all right? Um, we know that Justin Bieber is receiving excellent care. He should be receiving excellent care. Um, hopefully he's taking good care of himself. Hopefully he received treatment very, very soon after the diagnosis. Hopefully it was diagnosed quickly. Of course, these are things we don't know for sure. We just don't know the details of really what's going on with him, right? So the bottom line is, uh, truth be told, is that for some people who have Ramsey Hunt syndrome, they recover completely. Some people recover even without medications, but recover completely no issues, nothing at all, okay? Um, however, uh, some people uh, don't recover their facial function, like the facial drooping, facial paralysis doesn't recover in them, uh, even after months. So the idea is we have to wait and see. And I know you might be saying, gosh, this is a long video to say we have to wait and see, but I think it's important to talk about why we say we have to wait and see and the different variables that are going, uh, that are involved in that, such as how soon it was diagnosed, the medications that were given, were they given soon, how severe the uh, injury or the, rather the nerve damage was in the beginning, how you know, early the treatment started, all of that kind of stuff, right? And those are things that we don't entirely know. The bottom line here is we wish Justin, Justin Bieber well. We wish him a very speedy recovery. We want him to get better soon. And we hope that he is uh, in the success case group here where he gets his function back of his face uh, and other things like that. Hopefully that's happening as I write, do this video. We don't know. Um, and hopefully he'll keep us updated. So Justin, I know you don't know me, but uh, I feel like I know you. Uh, wishing you well, my friend. Um, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, I invite you to do so. Um, also check out my subscription groups and make sure you check out drjencoddle.com for um, exclusive information on my website. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.